Welcome to Sally Melody's classroom where we learn basic music. We are still in compound time signature, lesson four. And today I thought as we wind up, it's good we look at conducting as a practical exercise. Let's look at it. So, when you see compound time signatures, sometimes it is not easy to conduct. It sounds complicated. It sounds complex. It is not easy to conduct a compound time. But it can only be easy when you look at this compound time in terms of simple time. For example, a 2-4 has two crochet beats in every bar and we know that. But when it comes to compound time, it becomes a 6-8. Simply because these two crochets, the two beats, have been splitted into groups of three by adding a dot. So this cro dotted crochet here will give you three quivers and this will also give you three quivers. It is very simple if you look at it as a simple time when conducting. But remember, the tempo must be higher than 2-4. Because here, we are now talking in terms of quavers, but not crochets. For example, let's remind ourselves how we conducted a 2-4. 1-2, 1-2, 1-2. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. You still use the same same method to conduct a six eight, but you are going to conduct in a high tempo and ensure that you count in groups of three, but not in groups of two. Here you are counting in twos, here you are going to count in threes. For example, one, two, three, four, five, six, 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 one, two, three, four, five, six. That is how you conduct a six, eight. And then we have a nine, eight. A nine, eight has got three dotted crochets. So each dotted crochet has given us three quivers. To give, us to, to give us a total of nine quivers in every bar. So, at the back of your mind, when you are conducting a nine eight, you should have a three four at the back of your mind. So, how did we conduct a three four? It was like this. One, two, three. 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 So, when you are conducting a 9-8, you are going to conduct it in a higher tempo and then you ensure that you are counting that one strong beat. You divide it into three. For example, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Like that. Then we come to 12-8. It has got four dotted, four strong beads, crochets that have been dotted. It is a quadruplet, a compound quadruplet, and this one is a simple quadruplet. So, when you are conducting a 12-8, at the back of your mind you should have a 4-4. So, how did we conduct a 4-4? 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3. Four. One, two, three, four. So a 12 8, you are still conduct it as a 4 4, but on a higher tempo, and you count in groups of three in order to get the rhythm. Let's go. One, two, three, 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 one, two, three. It will give you a 4-4 four, four, but on a higher tempo. That is 12 of 8. So that each, each bit or each cro dotted crochet is divided into 3. So 
That is the simple way of conducting compound time signatures because uh, they might sound hard or difficult to conduct when you look at them like this. So when you see this, just go to simple time and start relating, start relating each because this is a simple time, simple duple, compound duple, simple triple, compound triple, simple quadruple, compound quadruple. So they relate. So thank you very much for attending this lesson. See you in the next lesson.